Some of Papandreou's statements in this interview are lies. For instance, his claim that the majority of people in Greece support the austerity measures. Almost everything else he said was evasion, content-free rhetoric, or in general, pure bullshit. I uploaded the entire interview for two reasons. First, because the original interview is unknown in Greece, apart from short clips that appeared on TV. Secondly, to enhance the interview with audiovisual satire. <laughs> NewsHour economics correspondent Paul Salmon will be reporting from Europe tonight from Athens. Trying to walk the fine line between markets and mayhem, low-key Prime Minister George Papandreou. Is it low-key or is it low IQ? Brought up in exile in America when Greece was ruled by the military, sociology student at Amherst College, son and grandson of prime ministers and a model of calm and a model of calm making the difficult case that despite the storm Greece is on the right course we sat down with him at his private office in the parliament Prime Minister Papandreou uh, thanks for joining us thank you is Greece the Greek economy coming apart well obviously we had uh, we have a daunting uh, ahead of us uh, prospect to change our economy change the whole society I would say but that's why people are protesting in the streets I mean violently protesting right well the uh, let me, let's let's uh, differentiate some of the uh, acts of violence which are uh, the uh, very small minority very unhappy events a very small minority but they don't represent in any way the peaceful demonstrations, which are understandable, uh, and the fact that, uh, that uh, um, at the same time, a large number of the Greek people, I would say a majority of the Greek people, understand that these measures are necessary. A large number of the Greek people, I would say a majority of the Greek people, understand that these measures are necessary. A large number of the Greek people, I would say a majority of the Greek people, understand that these measures are necessary. What are the basic problems of the Greek economy? I would say first of all the fact that uh, the, we have a debt is uh, so the tip of the iceberg of the problem of being more competitive on the one hand and that's why we're really changing the productive if you like basis of of our economy, moving into a green economy, a more transparent economy, moving into a green economy, a more transparent economy uh, also, uh, a, an economy where we had a, a, we still have a large shadow economy, which is also a hope because bringing that into the formal economy will also help our, uh, our not only our statistics, but also bring in revenue for the um, public sector. Shadow economy meaning an underground economy. An underground economy. That's people right. People don't pay taxes. That's one thing, but there's don't pay taxes or labor is not registered. Uh, there's unluckily a lot of graft in some areas. When we tackle that and some of the legislation which we've already passed is starting to tackle these issues, I'll give you an example. Tax evasion is, is going down. We have higher tax revenues even in the first few months after the new tax law which we passed. Bullshit, Prime Minister. Tax evasion of the very rich in Greece has not been reduced. Instead, your revenue has increased because of robbing the poor people and the middle classes. Uh, these are types of things which will allow us to tap into lost revenues which exist because Greece is not a poor country it is a rich country of course which is why you're trying to sell it being an obedient treacherous salesman of your own country Mr. Papandreou but it's a, a badly managed country because of these um, uh, these uh, particular issues indeed Prime Minister you happen to be just one of the worst possible managers are these the key solutions that the IMF uh, insisted on when it and Europe granted you a hundred billion plus back in May? There's a whole range of issues. Obviously, we took some very difficult and immediate measures in such order to, as? such as cutting wages. We've cut down wages up to 20, even 30 percent in some, in some uh, sectors, public sectors, cutting in pensions. Uh, these were very difficult measures. Obviously, that's why people are unhappy and feel the pain. Uh, even though there are demonstrations, we also have a large support people understand that this, this is a patriotic duty.
that we must move forward, change our economy, do not default, uh, and deal with our debt. Two laws which we're passing this week have to do with a fiscal stabilization authority which will follow our budget uh, through the parliament, an autonomous body, making things very transparent, and secondly, a major pension reform which will make our pension system viable. Well, will that bill pass? That bill will pass, yes. You, you you, you guarantee it? I mean, isn't that hugely controversial at the moment? It's hugely controversial, and that's why uh, we are showing that there is a strong political... Yes, we can do things which in the past 10, 20, 30 years, no other government not only was not able to do, but didn't dare do. So this is, just shows that today we have the will and the capability of doing that. Uh, Nouriel Roubini uh, in the Financial Times just the other day says an orderly refinancing of Greece's debt, that is stretching out the terms, lowering the payments, uh, is achievable, desirable, unavoidable. Yes? No? We could have made the choice of defaulting, but we have made the choice, not only Greece, Bullshit, uh, of Prime not Minister. defaulting, and make, taking this very painful, making these very painful changes in Greece in order to be honoring uh, the contracts with our uh, creditors. Honor your asshole leaking tradition. At the same time, this is not only a Greek decision, this is a de decision of the European Union, which has backed uh, Greece, uh, plus, of course, the countries in the IMF, with a, a huge package of 110 billion. It's the banker's decision. Loans, of course, which we're paying back, but that just shows the political will to uh, help Greece move out of this crisis and make the necessary changes. Two quick questions. Right now, your debt is. 12, you're paying 12 percent or more for debt. Uh, back in February, it was 6 percent, and you said at that time credibility is the key issue. So, isn't that a suggestion that things are deteriorating? The markets are very fearful, uh, very risk averse after 2008. So, they take time in order to see whether a program or a government or a company or a bank is credible. We need that time. We were given that time through this package from the European Union and the IMF so that we can make the necessary changes in our country. So I would say, let's look at the trend in Greece. The trend in Greece is a positive one. We're 40% down on our deficit. We're ahead of target for, uh, from the first report card we're getting from the IMF and the European Union. Uh, we have uh, uh, made major changes. We're doing reforms in pension, education, and health. Uh, these are things which just show that we're on track. So why does it matter? to America, to Americans, what happens here in Greece? Well, first of all, I think that uh, we're all in a very interdependent world, so that anything that happens anywhere in the world affects everyone else. We saw that with Lehman Brothers in, uh, in the crisis uh, in, in Wall Street. It didn't affect the United States only. It affected the global economy. But we saw that also with Greece. I wouldn't have expected, and I didn't expect this even just a few months ago, was how Greece could become the center of attention because of its problems. And that just shows how, even though we all know this, when it, when it hits you, uh, it, is, it is much more uh, striking, uh, the fact that... I'm afraid Mr. Papandreou will just have to shut the fuck up for a few seconds. Read this, and he'll be with you later on. large number of the Greek people, I would say a majority of the Greek people, understand that these measures are necessary, are so interwoven, so interdependent. A small event here, an article here, a comment there can create a panic throughout the world. Prime Minister Papandreou, thank you very much. Thank you.